men's health is something that a lot of guys don't talk to that often. But coming up, we're going to talk about how some of the latest treatments can help prevent the spread of some in concerning diseases. Indeed. And also this morning, we have an expert sharing the benefits of the medicine coming up. That's next. This is Prostate Cancer Month, and we are taking a look at the impact of nuclear medicine and its impact on late stages. Dr. Jacob Deerbrough joins us this morning to discuss the potential outcomes uh, from this medicine. Doctor, uh, good to see you this morning. Thanks for joining us. You know, we mentioned uh, you know, prior to the commercial break, a lot of times men don't like to talk about this because, you know, it's an uncomfortable subject. But how important, how critical is it for, for guys to get in front of this? So it's an, it's an incredibly inc uh, critical to do that. It's, uh, it's can be, you don't know that you have cancer until you're screened for cancer and doing different techniques to being screened is incredibly important. So you need to speak with your physician on what your numbers are. What's your PSA level? What's your risk factors? What are your other risk factors? Um, but um, my expertise is more in the, the new tools we have to really do our best job in understanding your prostate cancer. But because this is the beginning of Prostate Cancer Month, really understand what your risk factors are, even though obviously the examination and the and the screening are not comfortable subjects to speak about. You know, and one of the reasons for that, I'm guessing, is that some people probably are thinking back to treatments from 20, 30 years ago. That's not the case anymore. So what is now available that, say, wasn't, you know, years ago that kind of lends to that kind of reticence for getting on top of this? Well, I'm glad you asked, Tom. Uh, not only does, is this week the beginning of the, the prostate awareness, uh, prostate cancer awareness week, but it's also the beginning of a week uh, in nuclear medicine called uh, Theranostics Week. So they happen to coincide. And what uh, in Theranostics is, is, it's a combination of the word therapy and diagnostics in nuclear medicine and PET imaging. Uh, and the tools that we have are, A, now we can use nuclear medicine PET to visualize disease in a way that we've never been able to before. And then for more advanced cancers, we can use a different type of nuclear medicine therapy to treat disease. Also, a completely new uh, ability that we as physicians uh, uh, don't, never had before to do that. So two new things that actually they work well with each other, they pair to allow us to see what where the disease is and fight it in a way that we've never been able to before. Now, in your experience, is the recovery from these new types of treatments uh, more manageable than, say, older treatments? So that's, that's another thing. This, these techniques are very elegant in that they're non-invasive. We administer the therapy part just through an IV, and uh, we mm -hmm. check blood blood levels to make sure that your body is handling the therapy well. And there can be some uh, more mild side effects, but certainly not as severe as more invasive ways Bye. in the past. Dr. Jacob Dobrev, thank you for joining us talking about prostate treatments and uh, nuclear medicine and how they are trying to make an advancement in treating uh, this condition. We thank you so much.